Okay guys, welcome to a different clans video, but because I can't join server 7 of clans, which I'm in, I was like, let's do a how to build a clans base video, because somebody in the comments requested this, and I was like, well, there's probably some people playing clans who have no idea how to build a good clans base, so that's why I'm here, and if you are wondering that, then you're going to the right video, because I'm gonna show you how to build a clans base so I am here and I claimed for example a clan for chunks so you can just type slash c claim once you've made a clan and then you will claim the current clan you're standing what you will get a current chunk you're standing in and that will get surrounded in glowstone so for example I've claimed four chunks now so then they get surrounded in glowstone so you know which chunks you have and I think after a short period of time they um, the glowstone uh, disappears and it turns into the block it was before so this will turn into grass okay so in this tutorial i'm just gonna build a uh, four chunk big base and i also did it in the clans alpha by base when i was leader of a clan so i'm kind of gonna build that type of base i will put the link of that video in the description down below where i built a new base in the real clans world and oops so let's get started so once you've claimed these four chunks you gotta build and well I suggest you use where is it over there stone bricks because when stone bricks when you blow that up with TNT so for example I have a stone wall here and I am gonna put TNT right over here and I'm gonna make it boom and then it turns into this so when you then make it explode and then it turns into this and yeah so you need two TNT to break one stone brick so stone bricks is just the best building material in clan so i'm gonna build with that okay guys let's start building so what i do is i go to the edges of the territory which is just the glowstone and well in survival i dig down to y is 30 wait yeah okay in this uh, map i'm at 238 so i will dig down to 200 Okay guys, so now that you've done that, it can take quite a lot of time. It took me a couple of hours to do in survival mode with some clan mates. So I do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, you want a mode and you want it to be deep. And secondly, uh, wait, there's actually three things. Yes, yeah, secondly, you get a lot of cobblestone doing this. And you need a lot of cobblestone because you need a lot of stone bricks. And last of all... You want to have a safe base, so if you just build it deep underground and make your chest room somewhere over there, it's pretty safe against TNT. So the next step I do is I fill the edges out with stone brick. You are going to need a lot of stone brick, yes, but you don't have to make it as this deep, you can make it as deep as you want i made it go 30 down that's actually quite a lot you can of course do 20 but i suggest you do quite a lot like this is okay i should do something around this so flash assassins can't get out as easily so for now you will have to make the edges fill up completely with stone brick because you are gonna make like this empty cube and in that side of that we are gonna build our base so let's fill the edges up with stone bricks Okay, so now that you've done that, which can get, take quite a lot of time, you want to build your moat. So, I make it too wide, you can do one. Um, I suggest you don't do more than two, because that's actually enough. And you are gonna fill that thing up with water, so you're gonna make this all the way around and around. Okay, so now that you've done that, um, this is gonna be the moat, so you get water. But in clans you have to get a lapis block. So you just place a lapis block down and then it turns into a water source. So now we fill this mode all the way up. Which is gonna take some time. Okay that's also done. So now the mode is complete. Why is it ice? Oh, oh no I built it in the... Oh no I did I build it in the tiger. Oh extreme hills. Oh shit. Well, we'll have to deal with that then. There's nothing I can really do about that. But it's not okay. It's not wrong in the tutorial. So then what I always do is I build multiple layers around here. Because, of course, your chest room is going to be down here. And you want that to be safe. So I always build like three layers. And you could just do it with one in between. And you can still walk there. And yeah, this is going to make it... This is going to make your chest room quite safe because i mean you need two tnt to get to this layer 
then you need two TNT to get through this layer, and then you need two to get to that layer, which is going to be over there, and you can do as much layers as you want, as long as you have enough room. So let's build another layer. Yes, guys, this is going to require a lot of TNT to get, to get in, so you can be sure that those small clans who have not that much TNT are not going to raid you, and that's good, because you don't want people raiding you, of course. So, yes, you do still have to worry about some big clans raiding you. But, I mean, you can protect quite well this. So, you can build another layer if we want. Because we have still quite a lot of room left. So, I think I'm just going to do that. Four walls. That's going to require 8 TNT. And you know, 8 TNT costs 240,000 gold. Well, not much people have that much gold on them at once. But, yeah, people can save up. And, yeah, this is just going to make your base so much safer building multiple of these walls. So, the chest room is going to be right in here. You can just put some chests in here. I suggest you make a ladder going down to here with some trapdoors. But now, let's fill this all up till a certain height. Okay, that took a lot of time to do well, especially if you're doing it in survival mode. But I just used the slash fill. But there we go, we have filled up the layers. I filled it up to 12. So then you want to... No, not this. You want to do it over here. Yes, you want to put a roof on top of this all. And yeah, that's also going to require a lot of stone bricks. Okay, so now you have a roof. So you basically have a cube in a cube. And well, we are not yet done because we still have a lot of room left underground. But first of all, we want to make sure we can get inside. So we grab ourselves, um, I will for now use wooden doors, but in clans, the wooden doors work like iron doors. So let's just get inside. Let's find the center. Um, center is somewhere. Okay, this is actually the center, so we don't really have a center. But let's put some doors over here and here and here. And over here so we can get away wherever we want. And then you're going to put your door over there. And over there. And over there. There we go. And normally there wouldn't be ice in here. So you can just get out. But yeah this works. And now you have a safe way to get into. From your moat into your chest room. Which we want to do everywhere over here. Okay so now that we have done that. We can actually go and put you over here. And we want a ladder somewhere. So let's just make a ladder from over here or something. Go into your chest room. And this is going to be your chest room. And first of all. I really like having torches in between here. I don't think mobs can actually spawn. In here, but like mobs can spawn in clans territories, only in wilderness and borderlands, I think. But it's just nice having some torches in here just to have some light. So I always do that, and I suggest you do that just to have some nice lighting in here because it just looks way better like this. There we go. So next part we want to do. Um, now it's pretty solid base we have here This is going to be our chest room So you can just put some chests in here With some signs on top of it or something I don't know you can just do here Whatever you want to do just Put some chests down There we go and some more And this is pretty safe In here actually so You don't have to worry that much about people Stealing all your chests Because this is just a pretty safe way To store your stuff Just Look at how much space you actually have in here. So, this is our chest room. Put some torches on the walls over here and here and here. Just some random torches. There we go. Just to make it look a bit nicer and brighter. So, now you need your ladder. Let's get ourselves a ladder. And I think, yeah, this is just the best way. It's better than doing stairs. And I just got to get away of that. But... Yeah, this is just better than stairs. It takes some time to get up, yes, but it's better. And now we need a trapdoor. And, well, in class, this is an iron trapdoor, I think. And, yeah, that's basically how I make my chest rooms. So now we can move on to the rest of the base. So now we have this big area, but what do we want to do in here? And as you can see, our moat is pretty deep. Well, it's filled with ice now, but can you imagine falling in here and not being able to get out? That's pretty, pretty bad. Okay, so if you fall in your moat yourself, you can just easily get out by just going in here. And now you're in your chest room, but it's an easy way to get into your chest room and other people can't. So, moving on to the next part, we want to fill up this area and we can do everything we want in there. You can make the TNT generators, you can make your 
your clan home you can make whatever you want so i will just build some walls around here and those walls are gonna go and fill up to over here exactly to the top so let's fill the walls up okay so i think i found the middle um well actually i didn't i think but okay now we want a f another roof on top of this cube so i'll just go in here use the fill command but you gotta do this all in survival so i wish you good luck with building this stuff because it took me quite a lot of time to do there we go got that all filled up so now we basically filled this all up and now well we are gonna need some walls over here and this is gonna be our exit well i could make, maybe make double doors because that's just better make some double doors and you can get um, you can make some traps here so what I used to do in my base was put some stone brick pressure plates over here You could walk in and then do this and then people can't get out anymore So this works really well actually and can do it like that, 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 that And whenever somebody who's not in your clan walks in here they are trapped So what you do then is you grab yourself your hoppers There we go and we actually go out. I will just leave the doors open for now. And you are going to fill this floor up with hoppers. So let's get a... Oh, I already have a chest. Put you over there. And let's go and make a trap. Our first actual trap. There we go. Go, go. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. And oh no, the last one over here. So in case people kill themselves, um, the stuff drops in the hoppers. Well, unless you die here, well, it most definitely falls into the hoppers probably. Um, wait, I can actually do that. Um, let's do it over like that, and then put the doors on. So there we go. If people come in here and then they have to kill themselves, the stuff falls into this chest. So we can actually make a double chest after that, I think. And let's do that at every entrance. And we have four entrances so people can easily enter the base from every side they want to. Um, how big is this? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Make you go over there. And let's just do this four times. Okay, there we go. I've made it on four sides. So it doesn't really matter from which side you approach the base. You will just get in any way like this. It's pretty safe. And if you want to make it even more safe, which I'm actually going to do, you just put another layer of doors in there. There we go. So now we are going to need some walls in here. Well, I do want some outer walls and I want some inner walls again. People often want to blast their way in just from the surface and then they're gonna blast this wall. So we want two layers in here. So let's actually go and do that. This is not gonna require that much stone break because it's not gonna be that high of a base. Because most of this base is actually gonna be underground and that's just a smarter idea. So a lot of these things are optional. There's like traps and stuff you don't have to do but it's just wise to do them if you want some free swag. And yeah, this is also optional, making multiple walls. But I suggest you do them because it can save you a lot of rates, actually. So now that this is done, we want to build you up. And yeah, how high do I want to build you up? Probably two more. No, let's actually do three. So I'm just going to build you up three layers. That should be good enough. And just do like this. And then three layers and then make a roof. There we go, we got ourselves another roof, so, oh wait, it's not actually done, I needed to make it a little bit bigger. But we want a hopper system, which is completely optional, but it is really good to have, so I just put in all sorts of optional stuff, because just you, I want people to make the base how they want it to be, and not being like, you gotta build this base, because it's the best. No, it is not, well, this base is just good, it works for me, it worked for me in Alpha, and I just like this base, and it looks good, so you just... I mean, look at this thing. It just looks OP. So, you can go in here and now it's completely safe inside of here. And I have no idea what's going on. Okay, that's gone. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. Go away. There we go. Okay, so you have these chests from the chat, from the left, from the traps in here. And now what I want to do is I want to put some chests in here. Can I do that? No, I'm, I actually can, I think. Um, let me get some traps, chests. Um, oh, there you are. And put you over here. 
So now we have in the middle of the base a uh, trapped chest. And it's actually not the middle, but we don't really care. Okay, so I'm gonna build a uh, uh, transporting chest item stuff thing. So you basically want to do... Um, yeah, you want to do this. You want to place four hoppers down here. So two for each chest. So you can pr transport stuff faster. Because when I raided a clan, I had some issues transporting stuff. So we are going to need a lot of hoppers. Yes, yeah, so let's just make them all the way down. So let's just put it in here and then it's just gonna be in the air and you can get it whenever you want. So this is just really useful because whenever you are at an event or something and you are upstairs and you want and you have a lot of stuff in your inventory and you want to uh, transport it all down. You can just easily go in here, put it in both chests, it transports down really fast. So let's actually try how fast this is. Um, drop some stacks and... Put you in here. How fast does this actually go? Okay, let's wait for this all to transport through. Um, I think it's going okay speed. But we'll see. Whilst we're waiting for this to go, um, let's place some ladders. So where do I want these ladders? Um, I can make them wherever I want. Let's just do this. Put it around here. Make it a little bit safer. And let's make some ladders over here going down. You can just easily get up all the way up and yeah that's how you can easily get down so i don't know do you actually want uh, trap doors no we don't want trap doors so let's not place them over there and now you have this room all for yourself you can do in here whatever you want and yeah i think this is basically it for the inside of the base we have a fa oh wait we want to check up how fast this is transport it's already done okay and if we go all the way down all the way down you can see it's in here and it's in here divided equally there we go it's all in here and it went quite fast actually so let's actually clear my inventory and let's go back up okay guys so now that we've done the outside which is completely optional you can do in there whatever you want i just made some exam examples of things you can do and another thing you can do is put hoppers at the bottom of your mode right over here make them all go into your chest room and maybe um connect to over there no that actually can but yeah you can just put some hoppers down there and make them go into your chest room and everybody who dies in here collects their stuff together in your chest room so that's really nice to have but now we want to focus on a couple more things and this is also completely optional because you could say this base is finished it looks solid and it is solid so i want to do one more thing which is towers Okay, we have made the ladder, so now we're gonna place a door over here. And let's go inside our base. Where's the middle? It's right over here. And we want some ladders.
and there we go now we have a little base and yeah you can basically leave and enter the base from here you can just go out here and you can get to your towers over here so i'm just gonna put a tower in every corner okay guys it's all done i really hope you learned something and you enjoyed so i add some trapdoors so whenever you're in these archer towers you can just be a little bit more safe you can close and open it so this is basically the base i built in the 10th episode of my clans playlist i think so i'll put that link in the description down below so you can check it out and see that this is all legit so i will give a little tour of everything so you just enter here you have this trap you should not die in so you can place torches in here and stuff so you can enter from every side you can loot these chests and this is basically where you can put stuff in and then it transports down all the way down and you can go up here and you can go out here and you can go into these archer towers and yeah it looks exactly how i want it to look so this is quite a solid base now up and then we can go down and i didn't put torch in here but you can put tt generators and your clan base in here or whatever you want to put in here so then we move on um you can put more stuff into these chests and then it will transport down to the most important thing of this base the chest room so this is where all the stuff you put in upstairs goes down you can organize it in here and you can go out in here into this multi-layer base and you can go to your mode and also optional to put hoppers in here to have an even better trap so this is basically all i did in this video and yeah this is quite a solid base so you can modify it however you want you can add or remove traps you can make the towers look better and stuff you can make it higher up whatever you want and if you don't have this much junk you have three at maximum or maybe more you can just modify it however you want and stuff so i really hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned something and i will see you all in the next video goodbye